No. Then that brings us to what you're going to do with the rest of your arm. Once you've got this shape, you hold that shape. Just hold it like this and start moving your forearm out and in, just like it was the hinge of a door. Now, I'm sure those of you who have played the violin before, you've heard this from your teachers ever since you were like one, one years old. And it's this movement that is so important. Now, the problem that comes from this is when you have to combine all of these things together. This movement with this movement with this movement all together. That's a com combination of ideas that go together. Now, it gets more intense if you add the motion of the upper arm, this part of your arm, right up here. And that is the circle that you describe with the upper arm. You're doing this because you're following the line of the bridge from one string to the next. You see that? This is the G string. This is the D string. This is the A string. This is the E string. You see that? You see? Now look, take a look. Take a look at what I have to do to get from string to string. But the problem always comes when you're doing this. That's fine. But you have to go to... see that if I do do this motion in the upper arm correctly when it's supposed to happen exactly when it's supposed to happen I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all that stuff 